Recently, I've been trying to figure out good sets of augments for a variety of builds in Dragon's Dogma, and what I found was pretty interesting. Some of the augments or passive skills that are earned from the different vocations are not accurately described in the game. There's a couple that due to wording sound really bad, but in reality do something insanely useful for your character. So if you're interested in some unique augments that might improve your build, here's what you need to know. Damping is from the Strider vocation. This one completely removes recoil after shooting an arrow with a bow. One of the easiest skills to overlook as it is useless 90% of the time. When you want it is for using 5-fold flurry or 10-fold flurry. Both skills, especially 10-fold flurry, will move your reticle around a lot. If you're on the move, which most often you're going to be strafing to one side, this keeps you on target with very little effort. Since the recoil isn't that big of a deal, it won't matter for a lot of other bow skills. Ones that can't be rapid fired really don't make use of it, but if you play Ranger like I did, you'll be shooting off tenfold flurry as much as possible, making damping a nice quality improvement augment. Grit is also from the Strider vocation. It helps you maintain your mobility when you run out of stamina. In Dragon's Dogma, running out of stamina is seen as a mistake most of the time. You're forced to stop and wait as your character pans himself back up to fighting stance. Grit will more than have the wait time, taking about four or five breaths all the way down to one or two. It also helps your stamina start regening quicker after this occurs. If you're careful to watch stamina all the time, this won't be a big deal. However, for mages and sorcerers, you often use such large amounts of stamina in each skill, it can be hard to gauge. Rangers using Great Gamble are forced to deplete all of their stamina, making this a very good one for that class. Egression is from the Fighter Vocation. Please try this one out. If you're sick of breaking your left joystick on your controller every single time an enemy grabs you, this is a game changer. Egression allows for easier escapes from grapples and grabs. It halves the amount needed, which is a really large amount. Now these grab attacks won't always kill you. In the early game, most often it won't, but once in BBI, there are several monsters like Garm and Maneaters that shred your health while you're stuck. Egression gets you out, and if playing solo, it's almost required for some of the Maneaters. Also, seems like spamming your X, Y, B, and A buttons will increase the speed at which this escape happens. Those are for the Xbox controller, of course, because that's what I play on but pressing your inputs along with the analog stick seems to increase the speed. Intervention is from the Mage Vocation. Reduces cumulative damage when you're debilitated by the five arch magics. I read this and thought, huh, that seems sort of useless. Turns out it can be one of the best augments in the game. With Intervention equipped, you're immune to debilitations inflicted by magic. It's a bit confusing as there's a second augment that covers the stuff this one doesn't, but you can't be petrified by gargoyles or the cockatrice, which is a big one. No silence from phantoms or the cockatrice roar. No blindness from Garm and no burning from the eye creatures. You become completely immune to some of the nastiest statuses in the game. The exception is that any melee or throw attack that inflicts this stuff still works. Goblins with blindness potions, for example. But intervention is so good regardless. If you hate the cockatrice for turning you into a statue constantly, then this is the best augment for you. Stability is from the Ranger vocation. It prevents staggering or knockback from wind effects. Bellows such as roars from dragons and chimeras no longer send you reeling on the ground. I never liked this effect much as it can mess with the flow of battle and give the beast you're fighting a nice window of attack. Stability can remove that entirely and give you a moment to attack. Anytime you know you're about to go up against a beast with wings or loads of hellhounds, stability might just save your life. Morbidity is also from the Ranger Vocation, another really good one right here. Morbidity will increase the likelihood of inflicting debilitations by 1.3 times. Meaning, a rusted bow that used to take anywhere from 10 to 20 hits will now inflict torpor in three or less shots. You can make the rusted bow, or any rusted weapon for that matter, the best weapon in the game. Slowing monsters in seconds and watching them move as they were in molasses. Oh, and this works for other debilitations as well. Silence on gold weapons is big for spellcasters, and blind can be nice in a pinch. Morbidity is very poorly worded and sounds as if you're going to get more damage. Nope, you're going to be the best status-proccing adventurer out there. 
throw this on a pawn and they will do all the debilitations for you, which might be even better. Precision is another augment from the ranger vocation. It keeps your arrows from flying off the mark when you lose them while in motion. If you want to be more accurate with your shots at a much further range, then this is the augment for you. A skill like Tenfold Flurry will often fly many arrows all over the place. Precision limits them to a straight line, allowing for pinpoint accuracy on weak spots that can greatly up your damage. For both of the final boss fights in the game, this is a fantastic augment, helping to waste less of your stamina on missed shots. Pair this up with Damping from earlier and you have a Ranger that can't miss. Now, you really aren't going to use this unless you're going full bow, but if you are, you have to try it. The damage goes up quite a bit and you're almost never missing even a single arrow. Great for damage before a fight or killing enemies before they even see you. I know we're talking about some cool augments here, but let's hold on a second and bring up the single worst augment in Dragon's Dogma. In the Assassin vocation, you can get Preemption. This is supposed to make you deal more damage against enemies that don't see you yet. However, that's how the game works in and of itself. If an enemy doesn't see you, you already deal more damage. This augment seems to have no additional effect in any case. Most likely it's very bugged, and if you do happen to maybe get it to work, it's once every blue moon. So yeah, don't use the preemption augment, it's a waste of space. Proficiency is from the Warrior Vocation. It reduces the stamina consumed when performing a physical weapon skill by 25%. I bring this one up because it's 100% necessary if you're playing Fighter. Great for any time you're focusing on melee-based skills, but Fighter only uses physical-based skills, and some of his have crazy amounts of stamina cost. Blitz Strike is possibly the best movement skill in the game. With proficiency, you can use it repeatedly with much less worry than before. Mystic Knight can also have some use for this if you're not using the magic attacks as much. Stamina is tied to so much in Dragon's Dogma that having it is what allows you to fight in the first place. Proficiency can let you use your powerful skills more often without the cost of being fully depleted. Conservation is from the Sorcerer Vocation. It reduces the stamina consumed when you perform a magic weapon skill. For anyone using a staff, the stamina cost is reduced by about 15%. Spells have really high stamina cost, at least the big ones do. The small spells can be cast over and over, which will also eat up that precious resource. This augment's gonna be your best friend if you wanna sit back and control the battle forever. When using Exequy, it can greatly reduce the stamina potions required to take down bigger monsters. This one does not work with magic bows, unfortunately, and only ties itself to staves. So mages and sorcerers are gonna use it most of the time. Certain spells can actually drain your stamina while active and will be the perfect pairing with this. Throw it on for some extra magic assistance. Resistance is from the Magic Archer vocation. It reduces cumulative damage when you're debilitated by non-magic attacks. This here is the other half to intervention. While intervention makes you immune to debilitations from magic, resistance makes you immune to debilitations from physical attacks. Again, I point to the blind potions from goblins. Using resistance, you can take them all day and nothing will happen. Snakes won't poison you anymore, which does seem to happen to me constantly. Tharian spit doesn't get you and leap worms can't weaken you. Now, why is this extremely good as an augment? Pair up resistance and intervention. You become immune to debilitations entirely. No more petrification, burning, freezing, blindness, or torpor. Nothing can slow you down or stop you from fighting. If you're trying to go full tank, this makes it possible, as taking too many attacks, even if your defense is working, won't stop you from dying to other things like these. With both augments, you can eat as many attacks as you want and shrug it off after a couple of health potions. Due to the wording of these two skills, you might never have thought to even try them, but turns out they could be the best in the game if used together. Really awesome tactic that opens up numerous possibilities. Although I'm not sure if this is going to help with the sleep from death. Didn't really think to try that. Athleticism is from Bitter Black Novelty Level 3. This is found in BBI and honestly won't take you as long to get as the armor or rings. Novelty drops frequently enough. Athleticism being one of the better ones as it has stamina cost while running. Halves the cost. I tried this and it means that with the augment, you can run longer in two full bars of stamina than you can with three without the augment. This doesn't sound amazing at first because you're not using it much in combat, 
but a lot of Dragon's Dogma consists of running. The world can be pretty empty at times, more so if you don't have good fast travel points set. Getting through the Bitter Black Isle dungeons can also be easier if you're wanting to skip parts or simply run straight to Daemon. Athleticism is something you should be sure to get before going to NG+. Running the story again is so much different when you can run forever. I will mention this one is worthless on pawns as they don't actually use stamina when running, so don't bother even unlocking it for them. However, it's a must have for you the player. Finally, we come to the last unique augment, Adhesion. This one also comes from Bitter Black Novelty Level 3 and it's going to make it harder for an enemy to throw you off while you cling to it. When clinging to monsters, they attempt to shake you off. This leads to a lot of stamina loss as well as you not getting in any damage. Adhesion lets you ignore any attempt by your enemy to stop you climbing. On Magic Archer with Immolation, it's pretty great as you cling on until the enemy dies from the heat. Unfortunately, against certain dragons, it's pretty bad. Drakes in particular will not be able to stop your movement by shaking, but they will move you, and then it can be very confusing to find yourself or get back to the heart. Some of the other drakes, it's okay because their heart is in a better location. Now, for Cyclopses, this skill is beautiful. Those small brain behemoths can't do a single thing. When running a class that will be climbing often, this augment is a massive improvement. And there you have it, 12 unique augments that you need to try. Some of these are extremely good for different situations, while others are more niche yet still powerful. The augments are tricky in Dragon's Dogma as several of them are described quite poorly in game and learning some more about how they really work is important. The ones that grant you more strength or more magic are sort of starter kits. You use at least two of them on any build and they create an interesting set of perks after that. I also enjoy setting up depending on the monster. If I know I'm about to fight, say, a drake, then I'll put on all the augments that help me against a drake. This can really help early on when you have lower damage. Overall, these were some pretty interesting perks to talk about, and I hope you got something out of this. Don't forget that switching vocations is not a bad thing, and you could do it whenever you like. Stat scaling is not that important, and if you really want to do it, you can wait until you've unlocked all the vocations. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.